The new Chief Operating Officer of Kia Philippines Motor Corporation, Brian Buendia, outlined his plans for the brand during a formal roundtable discussion with motoring journalists. So my plans for Kia is to continue what we started way back in 2019 when Ayala got the Kia franchise in the Philippines. We have been growing Kia year on year, uh, double digit numbers. Uh, unfortunately, we had a slight hurdle, which is COVID. But this year, we are seeing the numbers go back to pre-pandemic levels. 2021, Kia globally launched the new logo or the new store image, which will not be only just for the looks of our dealerships, but also for the feel of uh, the customer experience. We want to focus on this henceforth because uh, the aim of Kia in the Philippines is to be the top of mind choice for the Filipino consumers. While it was Buendia's first experience on the brand's regular get-togethers with media, it may have been the last for Manny Aligada ahead of his impending retirement as president of Kia Philippines. Well, I'll be watching on the sidelines, looking at how Kia will grow further, given that intentions for the brand are going into the next generation of technology, which is the electric vehicle technology, while continuing to develop and uh, progress on the ICE technology. So I guess that's the beautiful thing about the brand. It's gonna continue with what it had done so well in the past, and yet be very competitive in new technologies. When Dia devolves Kia's plans for introducing new vehicle, including hybrid models. We are looking at uh, four vehicles coming in the next few months. Two of these vehicles, will be within the year, and the other two will be launched by 2024. It's very interesting because one of the vehicles that we will be launching this year will be part of the new energy vehicle segment. So these are the hybrids. So we all know that we have the EV6 already as our battery electric vehicle, but uh, we are also welcoming hybrids in our uh, portfolio. Wendia also offered good news for the many who have paid for reservations on the Kia EV6. We have gathered a total of around 50 reservations already for the EV6. And so far, we have only released six units, but as we speak, there are a significant number coming in in the next few days. We will be able to serve the 50 customers uh, that is waiting for EV6, and we plan to have the same volume towards the end of the year, totaling to around 100 EV6s as our uh, forecast for the year.